Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your June 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, was dealing with. We're going to see what this person is hiding from you, what they're not telling you. And then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come clean towards you or if you will find out on your own. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So um, tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius here. The person that Aquarius is dealing with or thinking of or was dealing with here, what is this person hiding from Aquarius? What is this person hiding from Aquarius for um, June 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. What is this person hiding from Aquarius? What are they not telling Aquarius here? We got the Ten of Wands. This person's dealing with a lot here. Yeah. This person's dealing with a lot of hardships here. This person has a lot of burdens that they're carrying around with them. Pain, hurt, trauma. Okay. Um... And I feel like one of the things I'm, I'm getting is that I feel like this person, you know, at some point will reveal this to you very slowly though. Yeah, I, I just feel like this person might be very embarrassed about, you know, all the things that, all the burdens that they're carrying around with them, you know, their past, you know, their upbringing here. Uh, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. And we have the Justice card, Libra energy, okay? We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. I do feel like this person will tell you the truth here. This is really interesting. You know, I feel like by this person being around you, it, it, it's triggering this person here because I feel like this person can't handle the truth here, but I feel like this person will reveal the truth to you. Being around you makes them uncomfortable because you radiate the truth here, you, you know? So that's why I feel like this person's a bit triggered here, but I do feel like this person will, this, uh, this person's actually going through some sort of purification here just by being around you. Uh, they're unwinding here. They're distressing or unstressing here around you uh, because, uh, you know, they're coming across, uh, you know, a, a, a kind of like a more purified vessel, which is you, okay? Two of Swords here and the Chariot here. Seems like this person's really confused here. They're really confused here. They're they're questioning a lot of things here in their life. You know, I feel, and I feel like you're the one, you're the person that sort of like, kind of like precipitated this. Okay, the Chariot, Cancer energy here, the Ten of Wands here, we have the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Swords here, and the Five of Pentacles. Um, this person is not doing well, by the way. This person has a lot on their plate here. They have a lot of weight on their shoulders here. And, you know, one of the things I'm getting here with the Nine of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, this person uh, might have a bit of a drinking problem here. Yeah, this person might have a lot of drinking problem here. They're dealing with a lot of, like, they're dealing with loss. They're dealing with grief here. They're dealing with insecurities. They're dealing with the fear of abandonment here. Um, so whoever this is, um, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe if this person's not telling you all this stuff, you're kind of like getting the vibe or you're getting the gist of how this person's behaving here, you know? Tell me about the Justice card. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Hierophant here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. This is someone that you just met here. Yeah, this is someone that you just met here. I feel like when you met this person, things are really great. Things are really happy. You're really getting, you were really enjoying or that they were really enjoying the process of getting to know you here. But slowly, the layers start appealing here. Like I said, you might have triggered this person here, okay? You might have triggered this person in a very positive way 
for them to face their truth and their reality here, okay? Two of Swords and the Empress here, Libra Taurus energy, the Chariot here, and the Moon, Cancer. I wouldn't say you force this person to um, face their truth here, but more so it's the energy that you're giving off. It's the energy that you're radiating here. Yeah. So, I mean, is this person going to tell you the truth um, very slowly here? Um, because I feel like with the moon card here, this person's definitely hiding a lot here. I mean, this person's definitely seen in very high regard. You know, I feel like a lot of the questions that they're asking here is things that they've never faced before. And I feel like you are the person that, like I said, that precipitated that, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, will this person come clean towards Aquarius? Will this person come clean towards Aquarius for June 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Judgment in a page of cups. I feel like this person will reveal, they will tell you everything. But they have to do it on their own time here. You can't rush them. I, I also see you don't I, I also don't see you chasing them around. Like, hey, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You know, you're 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 being really patient with them. Uh, you're uh giving them that safe space to really slowly to open up to you, you know? Um, giving them that safe space to, you know, to be in the space here. You know, with no judgment. Yeah, with no judgment here. You're just allowing them to um, go through this process here, okay? So we have, you're the one in the Knight of Wands. There's something about you here. Yeah, uh, it seems like you might be that type of person. You may, you may be that person that's going to change this person's life. And you're going to support this person on their healing journey here, okay? Um, this is this is a very rare case. You know, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, someone can change someone's life here. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like, you know, it, it's a really rare case. You know, a lot of people don't get that memo. But I feel like this person might be getting the memo here. And I do feel like it's going to be a bit, bit of a struggle for this person. It might be a bit of a struggle here for you if you stick around here. But, you know, I feel like you might not be too much in this person's space because you're coming up as the empress here tell me about judgment here we have the six of cups page of cups and the two of pentacles one of the things i'm getting here is that i feel like this person at some point will face all their childhood traumas here this person has a lot of trauma that they're carrying around with them that they're not letting go or that they're not releasing here um this person might have all these uh might be carrying around all this like past indoctrinations here, you know, all, all this, uh, you know, the self-fulfilling prophecies that they're not good enough or that they're not beautiful enough or that keep, they can't do anything. I feel like this, this person's slowly peeling the layers here and slowly shedding those layers here. Tell me about you're the one. Five of wands here, the knight of wands here and the knight of pentacles here. Wow. This person's definitely going through a lot of internal conflict here, some internal battles. It's almost like an in and out energy. It's kind of like all over the place here. Yeah, I, I, I do feel like it's going to get worse before it gets better because they're, like I said, they're unwinding, they're distressing here. Uh, could be that there's a lot of anger and a lot of rage coming out for this person here. The two of wands here and the three of pentacles, the five of swords here, and the queen of swords. You know, I do feel like whatever this person's going through they're definitely going through some sort of healing process here and i feel like you will support this person on their journey here queen of swords libra aquarius gemini so uh aquarius i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye